Hi there, uh, this is my video of what I believe to be one of the most powerful potato cannons out there. I'm sure there's some that are of steel construction and such that probably have this guy beat pretty handedly, but for PVC, it's got it going on. So as you can see, we've got 20 feet of barrel length and I've actually got two more barrels that couple together to give me a 40 foot total barrel length. This is the combustion chamber and this is designed to be a, a hybrid pneumatic and combustion or, or supercharged combustion uh, cannon. I'll give you a little demo how that works. Let me set the camera down for just a second. As you can see, the the barrels thread apart using these these couplings here. They're like three bucks at Home Depot. But this is where it gets cool. This is how it becomes a hybrid cannon. First, I, I cut burst discs out of tin foil or aluminum foil and they'll hold approximately 8 to 10 psi per layer uh, I've got 8 layers so 80 psi always write that down so there's no uh, unexpected uh, firings Let me set this back down again As you see, the burst discs just get sandwiched into this compression fitting. And that makes an airtight seal. This is the projectile a potato. And I, I hollow the back out, as you can see, um, much like an like early uh, colonial musket bullet. Um, and when the air pressure hits the back of the potato, it um, expands to make an airtight seal and that will just sit right in there and then the barrels coupled together and all these will be much tighter before actually firing of course um, but that's, that's basically it um, and now we've, we've got an isolated barrel and an isolated combustion chamber or pressure chamber um, then back here what we'll do is um, we'll put um, a rich mixture of a fuel like propane or map gas uh, never like oxyacetylene or anything like that that's uh, too rapid in its combustion uh, PVC doesn't like that especially when it's cold um, but then we'll, we'll so we'll make an overly rich mixture of, of fuel and then we'll compensate for that by adding um, a proportional amount of extra air. Um, this will run about 80 psi, um, and, and we'll we'll run roughly a four times mixture of uh, map gas or propane gas, so that it you know would would normally be much too rich to fire. But then we'll add the extra air, and then we'll uh, we'll actually ignite that using a spark gap back here. When that happens. The burst disc ruptures and we have completely 100% unobstructed flow out the three tubes to the potato and down 20 feet of barrel and hopefully not cover more than 3.8 miles of lake. <laughs> so, so that's it.